To celebrate Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, members of the community came together today to embrace AAPI culture. News Channel 9's Adrian Smith stopped by the festival at the McCarthy Mercantile Building. Adrian, how was the turnout? Well, Callahan, the first ever Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month Festival just wrapped up here in Syracuse, and in short, the turnout was great. There was singing, food, dancing, martial arts, and even an art exhibit showcasing members of the AAPI community right here in central New York. But the goal wasn't only to celebrate Heritage Month, but the event served as an opportunity for people to learn about all of the different traditions and customs within Asian culture. Seeing that we have Indian uh, culture, we have Bhutanese, we have uh, Japanese speakers, and not even just uh, Asian speakers and performers, but like so many uh, people who are here as allies to come and, and celebrate our culture. Um, I, seeing all of these performances and speakers come up, I even have learned of different cultures in the Asian community as well. I think because we've been in a pandemic, we've all been in our houses and just kind of like away from people. So it feels good that we can like actually come together and see familiar faces and things like that because we don't get to do it often. Now, organizers tell me they're already planning for next year's festival and they're hoping to make it even bigger and better next May. In Syracuse, Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. And please join us Sunday night as we honor Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. News Channel 9's Adrian Smith will be sharing stories of Asian Americans and their many contributions to Central New York. Asian Americans Standing Strong airs tomorrow night on News Channel 9 at 11.